Hi, I'm Kay Dean, and this is Fake Review Watch. In five years of investigating online review fraud, one of the things I've learned is that Google is utterly polluted with fake reviews. And I think the problem is much worse than most people realize. But the problem isn't just with the fakers. Much of the blame falls on Google itself. Today, I'll give you 10 reasons why no one should ever consider consulting Google reviews for trustworthy information. Reason number 10, not to trust Google reviews. There is a huge black market for fake Google reviews. I'll show you some recent ads. Multiple review providers advertise on Facebook. This guy provides reviews on many review sites, but highlights Google especially. Here's a solicitation in the unlimited Google review Facebook group, offering local guide reviews. The Google My Business review seller advertises on Facebook as well. He says he's a professional review provider and has a big team. Note that he states that every review will be posted from a different IP and devices and that he posts reviews from older accounts so that the review looks real. And here's his team with their different devices busy at work creating fake Google reviews straight from Bangladesh. A large number of Google reviews are posted from Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. There are plenty of Google review sellers over on Instagram as well. Here are three for instance. Or you can just check out websites. Get Reviews explains the importance of reviews to a business's online image and sells Google and other reviews. Then there's MyReviewStore.com where you can buy Google and other reviews for a few dollars. I could give you more examples, but you get the point. Reason number nine, not to trust Google reviews. There's a lack of identifying information on Google profiles. If I'm scrolling through the Google reviews for a business I'm considering, the profiles contain little useful identifying information. As you can see here, Google doesn't require Shane or Nicole to provide a photo. They don't even have to say where they're from. If Shane and Nicole are reviewing a Phoenix dentist, for instance, it will be helpful to know that they are actually from Phoenix. If Google profiles do provide photos, they're often of someone else. These six Google profiles are all using celebrity pictures as their profile photos. Gee, Thomas Bryan looks an awful lot like Bill Gates. And Amerson Josh is a dead ringer for Tom Cruise. Other profiles like Logan Elizabeth use photos they've taken off services like Shutterstock. Here's her review of a Houston area dental practice that was profiled in one of my videos. Still others like I'm Merrick Simon, who posted this review of Tech Shop in Norway, steal photos of regular people they find on the internet. Norwegian TV2 found the real person whose photo was used by Simon. No, he had never used Tech Shop and didn't write that Google review. Reason number eight, Google allows users to lock their profiles. I produced a video in September 2022 that discussed fake Google reviews for the Institute of Endocrinology in Panama City, Florida. Here were three of their reviewers. Notice that Jan Verdonk has 26 reviews, Sophia Bertrand has 34, and Graham Knorr has 33. If I click on those profiles, I should be able to see what other businesses these people have reviewed. But when I clicked on their profiles, Google gave me this highlighted message, quote, this user hasn't written any reviews yet or has chosen not to display them, unquote. We know that these people have posted other reviews as we just saw on the previous slide, but Google allows them to lock their profiles. In fact, these three people who all reviewed the Florida endocrinologist also reviewed the same orthodontist in Wisconsin and the same home remodeler in California. But Google allows these people to hide this information from you. I found it only because I knew where to look. Many profiles posting fake reviews are locked, so you can't see what they're up to. Reason number seven. Don't trust local guide reviews. They're not necessarily local. Google has a local guide program in which it rewards profiles with points and badges for their contributions, including reviews to Google Maps. 
the name implies that these profiles have extensive local knowledge of a particular city or region. But that's not necessarily the case. You just have to be part of the global community of explorers. Note that Google states that millions of people rely on information provided by local guides. However, I've seen thousands of profiles posting fake reviews who are Google local guides. When I captured this screenshot on December 3rd, 2022, Google local guides Anel, Monty, and Menta had all been in Phoenix two weeks ago and gave five-star reviews to Four Peaks and Dodontics. Yet those same three local guides had also been in Toronto at the same time, apparently buying cars from Royal Fine Motors. And those same three were all in Florida just three weeks ago praising Express Vision Care in Hialeah. So are Anel, Monte, and Menta local experts in Phoenix, Toronto, or Miami? Actually, I don't think they are local experts anywhere. I don't believe their reviews, and I don't even think they are real people. Reason number six, Google reviews often come in suspicious batches. Remember those three local guides I just showed you, Anel, Monte, and Menta? Well, none of them liked a chiropractor in the UK. But look at something else. Anel's review came in an hour ago, Monte's two hours ago, and Menta's also two hours ago. I've noticed that fake reviews often come in batches like this likely from a review seller who is just filling an order. In this case, perhaps a competitor or a personal enemy has ordered a batch of one-star Google reviews for this chiropractor. A couple of neighboring Indian restaurants in London have been getting reviews in these suspicious batches that should be obvious to Google. My research indicates these restaurants have the same ownership. Aladdin Brick Lane on the left has over 4,000 Google reviews and a 4.4 star rating. Cinnamon Brick Lane on the right has nearly 2,800 reviews and a 4.8 star rating. Many of those reviews, however, come in batches. For example, on November 15, 2022, I documented 56 five-star reviews rolling in for each restaurant by the same people at the same time. You can see that Frank, Philip, and Michael all gave Aladdin Brick Lane five-star reviews 13 hours ago. And Frank, Philip, and Michael also gave Cinnamon Brick Lane five-star reviews 13 hours ago. In all, 56 Google profiles gave each restaurant a five-star review at the same time within a 24-hour period. I have little doubt that a review seller is just posting these in rapid succession for both restaurants. Reason number five, fake Google reviews permeate all professions. Think you can trust Google reviews for that kitchen remodeler? How about for doctor or dentist? Or for something as simple as a photographer or a piano teacher? Think again. I've seen people in all of these professions getting fake Google reviews. Here's a video I produced in September 2022 about fake reviews from Google local guides for an Arizona psychologist. Another video from September 2022 documented fake Google reviews for a Missouri chiropractor, a Wisconsin orthodontist, a New York podiatrist, a Florida endocrinologist, and an Arizona endodontist. In July 2022, I documented fake Google reviews for a COVID testing center and pediatric clinic in Los Angeles. This video from December 2021 showed fake Google reviews for a Bay Area law firm. I've even found fake Google reviews for a pet store in Singapore and a clock shop in Prague. Name the field of business and I'll show you fake Google reviews in it. Reason number four, Google is slow to act on obvious patterns of fake reviews. I can show numerous cases in which far-flung businesses are receiving reviews from the same Google profiles Yet these reviews can remain active for months or even years, deceiving consumers. I'll give you one example. In December 2020, I produced a video on fake Google reviews for a Miami plastic surgeon. Look at the ridiculous patterns on this spreadsheet. 32 of these supposed 40 patients of Dr. Adam Rubenstein in Miami were all customers of True Green Lawn Care. 
30 of the 40 used ADT security. 10 of the 40 had been to the same pizza parlor in Toronto. 10 even used the same fencing company in Illinois. Not believable. Some of the reviews on this spreadsheet were active for as long as four years. They're all gone now, but only after two media inquiries to Google based on my research. Reason number three. When Google removes reviews, they just disappear with no alert to consumers. Don't you think Google should tell you that it has removed fake reviews? The following businesses have all been profiled in my videos. I published a video in October 2021 on fake Google and Facebook reviews for Smiling Kids Pediatric Dentistry in Indiana. As I was doing my research, I noted that within a span of a week, Smiling Kids Indianapolis Google page lost over 100 reviews. Google confirmed to reporter Bob Siegel of WTHR in Indianapolis that it had removed fraudulent reviews for Smiling Kids. However, note here that there is no warning from Google about fake reviews and the business's star rating remains high. Then there's the case of Silver Hill Dental in Toronto. I produced a video on fake Google and Facebook reviews for this practice in May 2022. In June, Toronto's CTV News aired a segment on my research. Google's response to CTV News? Our team has conducted an initial review and has taken action on the fraudulent reviews. As you can see, in less than a month, Silver Hill Dental lost almost 200 reviews. But does Silver Hill's page contain any notice from Google for consumers? No and its star rating remains unchanged. In my September 2022 video about medical practices nationwide receiving fake Google reviews, one of the practices was Integrity Chiropractic outside Kansas City. After I posted my video, Integrity lost 150 Google reviews. Again, no warning from Google to consumers. So why not just get more fake reviews to replace those Google has removed? And in fact, that's often what happens. Reason number two, not to trust Google reviews. After Google takes down fake reviews, new fakes just replace them. It's a continuous cycle of fraud. I've seen this happen numerous times. Here's one example. Ortho Smiles with six Wisconsin locations was in my September 2022 video on Doctors Nationwide receiving fake Google reviews. Maybe Google watched my video because all six OrthoSmiles Google pages actually lost reviews in the fall of 2022. Their Watertown page is shown here, down from 233 reviews in July to 170 in November. That's not the end of the story, however. I captured this screenshot of three new reviews for OrthoSmiles Watertown on December 6, 2022. Notice that these three reviews all came in a batch seven hours ago. That's suspicious in itself. And in fact, there are other reasons to be wary of reviews by Jessica, Lewis, and Michael. For instance, our three recent patients of a Wisconsin orthodontist all happened to have reviewed the same locksmith in Sherman Oaks, California, just two weeks ago. Hmm. And right around the same time, they all reviewed the same garage door business in Long Beach. See a pattern? And just last month, Jessica and Lewis both reviewed the same chimney service in Louisville, Kentucky. So given all of this, I'm confident in saying that these new Google reviews for OrthoSmiles are fake, even though Google apparently recently removed fake reviews for OrthoSmiles, new fake ones continue to roll in. It's almost a game. Dishonest businesses just have to keep paying Google and their marketers to maintain their star ratings. So what's the number one reason why you shouldn't trust Google reviews? The number one reason is this. When Google does remove fake reviews, it often allows the profiles who posted them to remain active and continue faking. Remember that spreadsheet of the fake Google reviews for the Miami Plastic Surgeon? After media inquiries to Google, all of the reviews across the top for the surgeon eventually disappeared. Yet the reviews for the other businesses on this spreadsheet remained active. It took a major media story by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation 
to get Google to start dismantling this network of profiles. Then there's the case of Dr. Bill Pope, a pediatric dentist in McAllen, Texas. I published a video in November 2021 that showed a network of Google profiles was review bombing Dr. Pope with one-star reviews. Here's a spreadsheet from that video. You can see across the top that Dr. Pope had 33 one-star reviews from this network. Yet plenty of other businesses were enjoying five-star reviews from these same profiles. Eventually, these one-star reviews for Dr. Pope began disappearing. Perhaps because the problem was identified in a Fox 26 Houston news story. But does that mean Google took down the profiles who are posting fakes? No, they're still busy perpetrating fraud. Let's see what the three highlighted in blue, Olivia Herrera, Cindy Blackmore, and Ella Elizabeth are up to now. Olivia is still busy reviewing. Here's her recent five-star review of Top Dog Window Cleaning way across the Atlantic in the UK. Gee, Cindy Blackmore has also given Top Dog Window Cleaning a recent five-star review. And look at that, a brand new five-star review from Ella Elizabeth for that same UK window cleaner. Google knows these profiles have a history of faking, but they're allowed to keep deceiving consumers across the globe. We'll look at one more example of Google's negligence in policing review faking. I produced a video in October 2022 about fake reviews for the Sebagi Center for Plastic Surgery in Louisiana. Let's see what's happening now. Across the top of this spreadsheet are 19 Google reviewers of the Sedegi Center for Plastic Surgery or the Spa by Sedegi in Metairie, Louisiana. Down the left side are other businesses from around the country and indeed the world that have been reviewed by these same profiles. The review patterns here clearly indicate fake reviews. For instance, 16 of these 19 supposed patients of our Louisiana plastic surgeon all use the same garage door company in Seattle. 14 like the same astrologer in Brooklyn. Ridiculous. Most likely, this is the work of a marketer with a network of fake Google profiles. The larger problem, though, is with Google. All of the reviews across the top in red have been removed, so it appears that Google is vetting Sedegi's reviews. Yet as of December 18th, every review in black on this spreadsheet remains active. Does that make any sense? If the reviews in red are considered untrustworthy, why aren't the rest? Google should be removing these profiles in all of their reviews. Yet this network remains intact, faking and deceiving consumers. Google said it removed or blocked 95 million reviews in 2021. If that's what they admit, imagine how bad the problem really is. I can find thousands of fakes on any given day. In my opinion, Google is not serious about eliminating review fraud on its platform. It happily evades liability behind its Section 230 shield as it collects advertising dollars from the businesses. And that's why you should not trust Google reviews.